Hello, I'm Andrew Ellison and welcome back to Motorsport Manager where we're coming up to the last two races of the season. We are in first, but are we going to be able to stay there to be promoted? That we'll have to see. The chairman is pretty unhappy right now, sadly. Uh, that's a minus five, 25 for a dilemma there. That's not good. That's not good. Oh well. Okay. Lara's been crashing her car a lot. We will give her a new part. I don't know if she really deserves this, but we'll do it anyway. Where's the suspension? Here we go. Would you like another illegal suspension? You don't deserve it, but you need it if you're going to be at all competent. Right. Uh, ooh, pretty good driver. Sure. I'll mark you down as a maybe. Finish repairing the cars. All good. Politics vote. Points for the fastest lap repeal, maybe? Uh, we we'll see points given out for the top ten, six drivers with ten points doled out for the race winner. Oh, wow. It's a somewhat old-fashioned approach, but it's seen support from Andrea Gomez, who claims that the rule is a good thing. It would mean that the cream always rises to the top, and I'm pretty creamy. I don't really want to know about your sex life, mate. Uh, what are we going to pick here? Mm, 700,000 for six or above? It's only for three races. Not bad. Mainly because it's only for three races, because we can actually maybe try and get ourselves up to four stars marketability. 650 for seven races with a nice upfront payment. But the upfront payment is only slightly more per race than this one. This doesn't matter really for the next two races on the upfront payment, because we're going to be doing better than these, hopefully. What it does matter for is the next league. I'm going to say we go for this because I want these three stars to be four stars soon. And if we're only three races, we should have got rid of Lara, got a new person of high marketability, and can get maybe four stars. So I want to see some better offers. So I will accept the short deal because it's a short deal. Not because it's the best. Okay, what have we got here? Four races, 400. Hmm. That's no use to me at the moment. It's only four races. Uh, this one, it's the same without the Japan bonus, but 800,000 up front. And this one is just worse than both of them. I guess. I mean, I like your logo more, but I guess we'll go with this one. Uh, entirely down to the fact that it is better. In fact, this is clearly the best if you ignore Japan. And also, it only lasts four races, so that's only two races into the next season. Then I can maybe get four-star marketability and replace it. You get the idea. Oh, your job's at risk. I'm about to get promoted and I'm doing amazingly. No one else has won the league this hard. But fine, sure, I'm at risk. Points of the top six. Politics. I actually don't care. It would benefit me. And if I come back down from the league above, it will help. But also, I can trounce the league anyway, so I'm going to abstain. I want the point power for my going into the next league. It's probably going to get voted out. Oh, we've got to prove because someone used two points. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. The changes that we've invoked in this league are pretty bad for small teams. I would not want to be joining this league as a new team. Scan report finished. Low quality driver. Target update. You're bang on. I'm 60 points above where I need to be, but sure, you're just bang on. 4% chance of rain. Oh, we need a design center. Have you got money for it? No, shut up. Really wish they weren't things. I really, really wish they didn't send you emails going, can we have a new thing? Like, have you got 15 million? Oh, can we have a new thing? Sure, if you can raise some money for it. Oh, but you should provide the thing. Oh, be quiet. 
Um, Falco being crowned the drivers champion last time out in Tonda. The only thing left to decide is the team's championship. Oh, Falco's actually so far ahead that no one else can catch up. <gasps> and they seem we're currently in first place with 242, with Silver Racing following close behind on 182. If I had to bet on the winner, I'd go for Elysium Racing, said former team principal Eddie Dubas. Mark Knight is an excellent tactician, he proved that this year. I am, but also 60 points. If I had to bet, yeah, of course I'd bet on the person who's ahead by 33%. You don't have to be a betting person to say that. You just have to be someone with some remote common sense. Uh, you are trashed here. You are... Still not as great. Actually, we never check your slats. Sim racing enthusiast. Minus two overtaking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second or above. Because it is a, two a one pit strat. The parts are fitted. Let's do this. One pit strat. But the downside is we have to race that and there could be rain. And if there's rain, we have to change. That was a really... We I don't know why I sung that. I felt that I needed a song. I've been listening to a lot of musicals recently. Uh, specifically TV shows. Specifically musical episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but whatever. Um, there's only one, I know. I may have just been listening to the songs. The point being, the point being, if there's rain, which there is going to be, either it falls into our plan, or we have to adjust the plan on the fly. And I don't like changing the deal. Pray I don't change the deal any further. Uh, so, it's not raining today. Put you up to... 16.1... 26.1, you're good, you go down by 2, 1.8, UB69, he he he, and UB75, tire choice will run a soft, if we're running a 2 pit strat, I would totally run someone with the same tires for one of their pit stops, I'd just be like, no, don't bother changing tires. And 75. Okay. You know what? If we are running a one-pit strat and we have to change it, and we have to change back to medium tires, it might be worthwhile training on mediums. Uh, I won't be running them anyway if it's going to be wet. If it's going to be wet, I'll be running... Yeah, I won't be running tire uh, things anyway because I don't apply to the entire race. So yeah, we'll just train on whatever's fastest. Angle, out you go. Lara, out you go. Give me some speed. Actually. Set with your for your first proper lap. Proper lap. Give it some proper welly. Go on. You know you want to. Give it a proper bit of a welly. Uh, that... I've never seen used. That would make it a very small track. Actually, no, I think I have seen this used once. It was very weird. Low in the handling. Got the right aero set up. Lara's a little bit behind. Only a little bit, though. That's in point one second. She's gaining it now. Hmm. Flub that last section, though. Still, not too bad. Only a difference of point... Less than point two seconds. Actually, just back up on the tyres. We'll be using the same tyres throughout practice. And those differences in timing. Three seconds and a bit at best. That's good. And we're out of fuel. Great, great, great. 
That is fine. I'll just run you out. Go. Not good enough. Great. Good. Great. Hmm. Try running that. Bring you in immediately. Half of through the practice, we're over half of for our knowledge. Bodes well for us. Still only good. Actually, it got worse though. Okay. Try that. I'm using Overtake here because she always gets new fuel and we want to get around the track as quickly as possible. It'll only make fractions of a second's real difference, but eh. We're a little bit ahead of the time on getting our tier 3, so, well, on getting our tier 2. So, that bodes well for our tier 3. Timing is still great. Great, great, great. Run it. Push everything to the limit for this last little section. Push it to the limit. In terms of the one pit strat, we'll put... Lara on the last seven, we'll put Falco on the first seven. That should work out fine for us. If the rain is going to screw with us on the day, we might run Engelhart a one pit strat if it isn't too bad and run Lara a two pit strat. We'll have to see. That's our tier three, 50 seconds ahead of time. One point three second difference between your best and their Lara. Tires make a huge difference. Now, not the truth. Especially, are we going to get second in the Drivers' Championship? We know Engelhart's already been crowned the winner. Is Lara going to be second? She is joint second right now. So I have to see. Of course, she is running an illegal part. Oh, I can't see any rain. So we're going to have to proceed on the assumption that we're running a one-pit strat. Are the tires suitable? Yep. Yep. Attack at the beginning, attack at the beginning. You're going to be running medium all the way. You'll run medium for the first bit and then go to low. Okay. And Lara's away a little bit quicker. Managing to get into 18th. Very nice there. Making a weapon 17th. Engelhart tried to make a play for 19th. Got blocked, but now he's in 19th. Very nice, Engelhart. Come on. Lara is battling out with a little pack. Engelhart's just trying to hold on to 19. Engelhart, you're going to have to drop down to low now. Got to maintain that fuel level. Meanwhile, Lara got her best sector three. Her best sector, all of them were her best sectors, of course, because it's her first time round. Didn't get the best lap, though. Is she going to make it up to 17? She did. She's making really nice headway here. Good progress. Faith Anthony has crashed. That serves you right for being terrible in Season 1. At least it wasn't Lara for once. Don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! Okay, making good headway there. Engelhart, I'm saving your boost. 
for now. Okay, good so far. Mm. Lara, if you've got a little bit of boost left, you do. Oh, we got blocked. Okay, she needs that boost earlier. How are we looking otherwise? Pretty decent. You could probably go to a high for a little bit. Okay. How are we looking for rain? Uh, if there is rain, it's not worth worrying about. It's too far ahead for too little time. People are going to start pitting. We're going to keep going on as per standing orders. Gonna drop our pushing on the tires. Okay, Lara. You are pitting here. Don't worry about any rain that happens. Uh I didn't add fuel, there we go. Pit strategy. Go over balance pit strategy. the best place to use the boost, but I think it needed to be used just to get a little bit of uh, a head start. Right, you're in. That means Engelhart, you're pitting next. You know what you're doing? Fuel options. Fill her up. Pit strategy. Also going to use balanced. Lara. Switch out to a low usage. Neutral tyres for now. No issues. Good. Good, good, good. We're probably going to end up about mm, 12th. There we go. 12th it is. Although very close. Mm, 13th now. Okay. Push those tires a little bit harder. Engelhart is in first up here. Going to be pitting. Coming up probably about 11th. We'll see. Was good. It was good. Did I call it right? I called it right. 11th. There we go. That's mostly luck. I can't... I, I, no way I could have got that right. Meanwhile, you're saving fuel. You're doing okay. You've got a little bit of excess, so time to start burning. We're in a really good position when people are starting to pit. Which, speaking of, people are going to be pitting now. So here's our chance. First and second, we're in. Rubbing? followed pretty closely by someone in third who is going to be pitting though so I'm not going to worry too much about that one we're in Lara's going to get close I think she's going to run out of fuel just before the end but we might just have enough of a lead to carry this off we'll have to see it's going to be close This is also the last time I'm going to use the boost before the end because I need to save it for that last little stretch. Okay. Good so far. Come on. Let's make it to the end. Point eight seven laps of fuel. Eight six. Mm. She's going to be okay. Engelhart still thinks he's running on excess. Fine. I'm not going to argue. This one two is looking very effective right now. 
There's still room for error, but I think we've got this one locked down. It's very rare for people to crash this late. I wouldn't put it past Lara, though, considering what she's done so far. There we go. There's the one-two punch. Positions one and two. Pretty much guaranteeing us a promotion now. Unless the next race goes very poorly, we're almost guaranteed a promotion. Well done, Engelhart. That, that went perfectly. That got carried off to a T. Please don't find the part. Please don't find the part. Please don't... Ooh, there we go. Plus 1.4 million in reward money isn't too bad either. Eighty-five point gap. Even if they came double first and we came double last, which you can't, uh, there is no way. Oh, actually, because it's double point race, they they can win that. They can win that. If they have a one-two, we have a twenty nineteen or something. Yes, so. If we massively screw up the next race, it is still possible, because it's a double point race, that we can be beaten. It would require one team to do very well, and it would require us to do very poorly. But it is possible, especially with something like a crash, where you automatically end up last if you're the first person to crash. So it is possible, and we know Lara does have a propensity for crashing. She has crashed in about 20% of races. Actually, more than that. She's crashed twice in nine races. That's over 20% of the time. So it's entirely possible. I don't like that stat. That's a very bad stat. Please at least tell me we get some happiness from this. 11%. Good. No marketability increase. What? We got a 1-2 finish and we can't have marketability increase. That's bollocks. Okay. Got a good amount of money left because we haven't been losing that much because of the race wins. I'm tempted by a scouting facility, but it won't be built in time to help. So instead, I'm going to save the money for next season because we're going to need it. Uh, sure, Alex, at the interview. Oh, wow, one, two, that'll go down Dream Weekend for you. What's the secret? This team is excellent. It's all down to the drivers. I clearly perfected the strategy. Would that give us marketability? I'm going to say the team is excellent. I don't mind getting happiness with the chairman. Okay. Should we push for a second race? See if we can get promoted? Let's try it. Server problems. We found some work being done on the data center on our network at the moment. The technicians have found that our data storage is a bit out of date. The chairman caught with event and he wants to upgrade the entire system. It will cost a fortune. Oh, for God's sake. Chairman happens minus 25 or half a mil. You know what? Fine. I Half a mil. Bloody hell. If you want me to upgrade it, give me a budget for it. That wasn't in the budget proposal. My budget proposal was mostly, pro probably knowing racing drivers, lots of cocaine. So... I do need money left at the end to be able to pay some new drivers, so yeah, that's sensible. Why are my sponsors only fourth? How do Predator have better sponsors? Have you not seen who you... Like, we're amazing. Apart from my car. Which is strange, considering that everyone should be around the same tier. But whatever. Okay. What are we looking at? 4% chance of rain. 15 lap. We need a helipad. That only unlocks the tier 5 deals. It literally is useless to us, because we haven't unlocked tier 4 yet. The thought of being the alehouse will get some up in the morning. I will catch him. 
You work for the same team, but sure, whatever. You're not going to work for the same team for long. We're going to do it. Second or above. Oh, that said, it is half the money at the sixth. We're going to try for... I'm going to try for sixth or above. I can't guarantee it on a race like this. And it is not only... It's not 500 compared to a million now. It's not 500 compared to 1.4. It's 700 compared to 1.4. And it's 50-50. And it's half the money. I think that we should go for the solid amount of money. Uh, part fitting, whatever. Let's do it. Technically still running a legal part. Probably shouldn't. We don't need that small bonus. What we do need is a happiness, which that bonus will provide. We don't need the racing points. We need the chairman happiness. So I guess we'll run it. Please demand I fire Lara, though. Please be happy if I fire Lara. I would like that. Uh, where are we? Black Sea, I think it was A. Oh, God. I, mm, I probably should have checked better. Let's say it's Black Sea A. I remember reading it. Nonetheless, 16.5. For 27. Decrease you. Decrease you. Bring that down to 38. Push that up to 56. We'll run the sauce for now. We might end up doing a non-tire change lap on someone. Uh, decrease. Decrease. 38. Take Rattus. Let's do it. Engelhart, you're out. Lara, you're out as well. Make it count. I mean, it doesn't count, so I guess that phrase is redundant. It's practice. Okay, coming in here. Push it all. Push it to the limit. I've overused that, I know. The downforce feels bang on. Good job. Really far behind Engelhart, though. 0.8 seconds in the first sector. That's not good. 0.967. Wow, Lara really falling behind here. You're driving practically the same car. In fact, Lara's is better. But the entire second difference, well, 0.999. Surprising. Very surprising. Oh, you also didn't put you down. No, there we go. You're running out of fuel really, really early. Whoopsie. That's going to screw up our knowledge. There are changes that need to be made. I don't know in which way. Right, try that. You. Try that. We'll pull you back in immediately. We're halfway through and we aren't halfway through our knowledge. Not great. This is going to come down to the one whether we're going to get the knowledge skills or not. You're good. Out you go. You're good. Out you go. 
Should have changed to the tires, maybe give them a bit of a boost so they could have got more laps. Meh. Either way, they're out now. We are currently 10 seconds behind, maybe a little bit more, to get our tier 3 because we want it. Because there's three tiers and there's 12, sec uh, 12 minutes, you want to be changing every four minutes. And we're behind on that because we were behind on the four minute mark. Lara's got personal best on sector one. Not personal best on sector two, in fact, a very slow sector two. Many issues directly behind Falco. So, fair enough. Tell Falco to let her through. No. Fair enough. Fine. Okay, here we go. Are we going to manage it? Yes! There we go. Tier 3. Oh, and now they've got an extra lap. Probably should just brought them in. Whatevs. And they're going to run out of fuel and complain in a minute. I'm really happy with the gear ratios, they're excellent. The gear ratios are just right. Good to know. Still, really good times. Two seconds ahead of anyone else there. Uh, three seconds if you don't count Lara. Fuel economy, race trim, because we don't know what we're going to be running in the wave tires. And then risk taker, very important, race trim. Six laps of fuel. It's a 13 lap, it's a 15 lap race. We should probably run one person a little bit less on fuel. Falco, because if Lara's going to pit with everyone else, I want Lara pitting with everyone else, particularly because she's got the knowledge skill of Risk Taker. So, if Falco can make that fuel last for so long, I don't know. Uh, yeah. We'll take a little bit of fuel away from you. You'll be pitting early. Let's do it. Lara's away first. I'm going to take a little bit of space up, getting up to 18th for Lara. 19th. 17th, sorry. 16th, 17th. 16th after this corner. Oh, even better. 14th. 13th. Massive jump there. Very nicely played. 16th. As Engelhart sweeps forwards. Do you want to pit where the safety car's out? Um, Stramby crashed. We could run a one-pit strat now. Really does depend on the weather. We aren't last. If we were last, I'd say... Uh, uh, definitely, we'd be running a one-pit strat. But we aren't last. The pack this close together, though, it's almost certainly worth it, regardless of what your traditional strategy might be, which means we won't be running a medium. Refill the tank. Pit strategy. We'll go with balanced. Lara, on the other hand, do we want a one pit strat? You want to play you a much more traditional role because you've got the fast pit stops. I think we'll play a traditional role for pit stops for Lara.
Do we really want to do that? Yes. When in doubt, hedge your bets, because we don't need to play risky. We don't need to get 1-2. We just need to not do terribly. So hedge your bets. Fine. As we choose the pit now with Lara. Because she doesn't need to extend her fuel usage, unlike Engelhart. If she pits now, she'll only have to go for 12 laps, which is six laps of fuel and six laps of fuel, which is the tank. Hmm. Why well, look a gift horse in the mouth? Good pit stop. Look how close we are to the back of the pack, even though we had to pit. Not bad at all. Right, get some heat back into your tyres. We're going to start going live soon. Not too much heat into them. Is anyone in the pit there? Mm, probably not. They're probably going to wait. They'll pit five. Maybe they will pit end of four. End of four is normally where you pit. No, end of five is normally where you pit. So maybe it's only five or six. We'll see. And we're off. Right. Uh, no. Push the tires. Don't push the fuel usage. Medium. Because how many, how many laps do you got to do? 12 laps to go. Cancel. Push the fuel. And push the... What's it called? Tires. Boost and boost. Right, and save the boost. In terms of what happened there, other than, you know, being 1819 rather than 1920, uh, we just reset the race. But now, on a one pit strat turn that we can do. This is where we play. And we do it damn well. Yeah, people are going to be pitting soon as well. 13th and 15th. And they're pitting. Here we go. We're on. There's our 1-2. Should have gone for the 1.4 mil. But knowing what we knew, it was probably the right choice. Like, we didn't know that there was going to be a crash that would allow us to basically play the one pit strat. So fair's fair. We will be pitting around the same time. There's nothing we can really do to change that. But if Lara's pitting second, she does have a faster pit, so that's fine as well. I think that's worth the cost that we paid. Why have you got fuel left? You've done so well. We should be pitting end of lap 9. Because that leaves us 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That leaves us 6 laps. Of I guess we could split the laps if Lara thinks she can... Mm, can she get that to extend? Probably not. We'll just pit them both. At the end of the day, there's no real skin off my nose. It's an odd phrase. Alright, Engelhart. Pit. 
Change for softs. Six laps of fuel. Ah, see, the seven laps here differs from the six laps here. That's where I get confused sometimes. Pit strategy. Do a balance pit. Don't screw it up. Lara. Same for you. But your pit strat's going to be fast because it's a taker. And then Engelhart, try and get ahead of Lara with your boost. Right, here we go. Done. Mistake. Not good. Manageable. Actually, very, very bad. Yeah, that was a pretty bad one. We're going to fire your mechanic at the end of the season as well. Don't worry. Okay. Don't burn your fuel that hard. Uh, that was a mistake. You can probably make it back. Okay, we're in first and third. I will take that. Second is going to have to pit soon anyway. We aren't doing too badly. Is it we aren't doing too badly? Or we aren't doing too bad? I think it's the second one. Either way. Right. It's because when you say something like, oh, I feel badly about that, you're implying that the mechanism which allows you to feel is broken, not that you feel bad. If you say, oh, I feel bad, that's different from, oh, I feel badly. Okay. How are we doing for fuel? We're doing okay. There we go. Excess fuel warning there. Not one over here. So we'll just put you on low fuel till we get the excess fuel warning, just to make sure. There we go. Excess fuel warning. Give you some boosts. Give you some boosts. Not super well timed, but at the end of the day, they don't need to be. First and second right now by a massive margin. Our strategy for this season has paid off. Season 3 promotion is in the bag, basically. Unless we both crash very shortly. I really hope that doesn't happen. That would be unfortunate. Engelhart, though, having proved far superior to Lara. Look at that. Just in sheer terms of time on practice laps, spacing in actual races, and also Lara's propensity to crash on 20% of all races, which is a pretty terrible failure rate. Falco has definitely earned himself that contract. Lara! No. Lara's getting fired. But well done, though. You know, I appreciate the you know contribution you made to the team, but you're still getting fired. I'd like to thank my, uh, my cat for all the support she gave. I'd like to thank... No, that's it. Just a cat. Engelhardt had a 14 second lead. And Lara had a 14 second lead on number three. Wow. Well played. Well played. Please don't catch me. It'd be a shame if you did. No! I thought we were good there. I thought we were good. Oh, and they, they docked me four places because of the second time it's caught the season. Oh, no! And that cost me a second podium slot. Fine. We still get the one two in the Drivers' Championship and first by 110 points in the Team Championship. Very, very nice. Well, a bit unlucky being caught there, but oh well. I guess it's a note for future. Don't get caught a second time. The fine, I think, doubled. The reduction in places definitely doubled as well. We still got first. Morale still improved. Not that I care about your morale, about to be fired. Focus is 11. You really shouldn't be crashing. 
consistency. So, no. Either way. There we go. World champion of the European Racing Series. But still kind of world champion. Lara came second. Prize money is pitiful for first place. I really thought there would be a bit of a difference, but that's, that's pretty bad. I'll take it. Interview. Accept an interview. Congratulations on securing the European Racing Series title. What's the secret? You can't pinpoint any one single person. The entire team did superbly well. There's no secret. We've got two great drivers. Eh -eh. Great mechanics. Eh -eh. It's all down to me. Let's face it. I'm a great manager and I deserve the acclaim. I'm going to just say the entire team. I wanted marketability. Why are you making the old man happy? Part band. Whoop. Race winner. Hard fought win. Contract running down. Lead designer, mechanic, mechanic, and a driver. You, we all might change out. Lara. Yeah, you're definitely being changed out. Got it. Here we go. Championship promotion. Retirement, retirement, retirement. Prize money. Not looking too bad. Manager of the season. It's what? It's not me. Ah. Driver of the season is Faith Anthony. Really? Retirement. 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 And here we go. Promotion opportunity. Congratulations on winning the title. Now it's time for the big question. Would you like to make the step up to the Asia Pacific Super Cup? If you accept promotion, our technical experts shall brief your mechanics on the current regulations and you can expect your car to be upgraded to somewhat competitive levels. What do you say? The land of milk and honey awaits. We got the promotion we wanted. Nothing really changes other than the fact we go up to a different level with different uh, stats and different tiers of how people are expected to act in terms of we want more stars um, and different rules. Although, quite frankly, staying at this tier right now would be the better option. Because this tier allows us to milk money like there's never been money milked before. Because spec parts! Dear God, the spec parts have saved us so much money. We've built, what, three buildings, was it? At least two. Two or three buildings this entire season. And we've still got loads of money left. We had like four and a bit mil left at the end of the season. And easily got ourselves in first. Uh, if I was playing for realistic, like, I want to just be awesome, I would probably wait. I'd probably buy myself a factory, stay in this tier one year longer, milk this tier for some more money, then upgrade when I've got a tier three factory. As it is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the saves so we can see what happens. I will accept. Addition to the Black Sea Grand Prix. Three dry weather tire compounds, road tires. McNeil have been relegated to my tier. I've been promoted. And Firebird will drop down. There we go. And we are considered trash. Not bad. Eh. Eh. Trash. How's the calendar look? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Singapore, Beijing, Doha, Phoenix, Vancouver, Yokohama, Dubai, Rio de Janeiro, Sydney, Vancouver, Phoenix, Black Sea. I've only played one of those, the Black Sea. The rest of them are completely new. That will be a very interesting one to play. However, oh look, actually the laps are much longer as well. Oh wow. However, this is where we will call it here for this series, at least for now. Uh, I might play some more on Twitch, but we have a lot more stuff I need to cover on the YouTube channel, and we've we've managed to do our goal of getting promoted. 
I would like to continue. I really enjoy the game, but there are so many other games I actually want to cover. So to be fair to the other games, we're going to say goodbye to Motorsport Manager. Bye bye, Motorsport Manager. And hopefully at some point we'll get back to it. But for now, I've been Andrew Lissim. Hopefully you have enjoyed and liked. Until next time, though, stay shiny.